Okay, we're hooking up the Catarex 3 protector. Um, I'm going to show the video here. There's a little clamp on the back that clamps onto a pole and then connect it, plug it into the wall. There's a foot pedal that plugs in the back on the front of the unit. I'm sorry, the, the power switch is on the back here, so turn the power switch on right back here. And then there's two things that we need to do the vitrectomy. One of them is sterilizable. It's this that they can heat sterilize. So I'll drop the other one off. So it, it comes in here. There goes that little hole there. So put it in a little hole and then clamp it down until it snaps. This comes in this side of the black. Then you gotta stretch it to go around and come in the bottom. This here has to be snapped down on, underneath. And then these two sides you can use to prime. When you prime it, you'll connect them to each other. This is designed to go on an INA or a fake or hand piece, but when you prime it, just put the two together. That's irrigation and aspiration. And then this is the intake of fluids. So you have your bottle hanging, and then you'll take your fluid intake. We'll go here. And then we'll open that up wide. So now we got fluid coming in. This is our INA handpiece. We got the two connected. And so now we're set to prime. We got a pre-op. The pre-op button is the priming. So it's just getting the air out of the system. You can see it dripping. It'll uh, count itself down. So done priming. Um, this here, you don't want to drip all over the floor. So we usually tape a little bag, a little plastic bag. We can tape to the side of it here, or a bucket or something, or a kick bucket you can put underneath. That's just the, the effluent. So when it's done doing this, we have one of these is irrigation, one of them is aspiration. This is the not sterilizable instrument, the vitrectomy itself, so that's disposable, so a little bit more expensive. It has two colored um, ports, one of them goes on the black, one of them goes on the green, just matches up. That makes the cutter work, the on off for the cutter. and then. This one here is the aspiration. Aspiration is controlled by the foot pedal. So again, these were irrigation and aspiration, so you take those two apart, and then only one of them is gonna fit on here. Okay, so now I have that aspirating from the machine. This is my irrigation. The way the irrigation works is you put your Simcoe on there, so you can hand hold it through your paracentesis, your Simcoe, and then your aspiration and cutting is happening here. The foot pedal, we have to hit vitrectomy, where vitrectomy button right there. So now it's on vitrectomy settings with a 1200 cut rate. So now when I, the, to, the special thing is the irrigation. I got my Simcoe here irrigating. You wanna hit the constant irrigation button. So now every time it's constantly irrigating on the, in the eye, and then when I push further, it starts to cut, and then if I floor it, then it starts aspirating. So it's irrigate, cut, aspirate when you floor it. Okay, so that's what the setting's on. And then when we're all done, we have it constantly irrigating so you don't have to think about keeping your foot pedal on. When you're done with it constantly irrigating, then you hit the back end of the pedal. So the back end of the pedal turns off the constant irrigation. So to go back on constant, you just push on the front. Now it's gonna constantly irrigate. When it's time to stop the irrigation, hit the back end of the pedal with your heel. And then when it's done, give that away to be flash sterilized or sterilized with heat. And then this one here gets thrown away. This has been done.